Good day everyone. So today in this video, I will be showing that how you can enable the remote desktop connection RDP on Windows 11 Home Edition. So right now you can see I am on the Windows 11 24H2 Home Operating System and I am not able to use the remote desktop connection on it. And if I go to the settings, go to system and then look for remote desktop so you can see it says your home edition of windows 11 doesn't support the remote desktop so even if you open the remote desktop connection try to enter any kind of ip address to connect it it will not be connecting and it will not be working but don't worry there is an easy solution that i am going to share with you that you can also apply in order to enjoy the remote desktop connection on windows 11 home edition all right so bring up any of your favorite browser and in the search you have to type rdp wrap and on the very top you will be getting the github page releases stat corp rdp wrap you need to click on this website and then you will find this github page rdp wrap library version 1.6.2 now here you need to scroll down a bit to the asset and click on rdp wrap uh, 1.6.2 zip the second one and the file will be quickly downloaded in a zip file. Now once downloaded, you have to open the downloaded folder. Right click on the zip file. Click on extract all. Click on extract. Once extracted, you will find all these kind of files here. Now here first you have to install it. If we look for the install file, make a right click on it. And choose run as administrator. Click on yes. And the RDP app will now be installing. So just wait until it's all been done. Okay, once done, it says press any key to continue. All right, so we can press any key here. Okay, now this time after installing it, if I bring up the RDP configuration file here, if I make a double click on it, click on yes. So it says wrapper state install service state running, but the listener state is not listening. And that basically is the problem with the Windows 11 Home Edition. But don't worry, uh, we will be changing a file here that will be enabling the listener state and it will make it running and supported. Open up a new tab in the File Explorer. Then from the left hand side, click on this PC. Go to Local Disk C. Go to Program Files. And here you will find a folder by the name RDP Wrapper. Make a double click on it. And in the RDP wrapper here, you will find RDP wrap file that is a configuration setting file. Now this file is missing and basically not able to reactivate the listening ability of the RDP. Now we have to replace it with a new file. And in order to get a new file, again, you will be getting a link in the description. Open this GitHub page and this will come to the INI RDP wrap website. Click on the green color code option here. Then click on download zip. Again, a file will be downloaded in a zip file. Open the downloaded folder. Right click on the zip file. Click on extract all. Click on extract. Open this INI folder. And here you will find this new RDP wrap configuration file. Okay, so you can copy it from here. Just make a right click on it. Choose copy. Close it. Come back to the previous RDP wrapper location that was in the program files. This is the location we bring it up. Now here you have to make a right click and paste the file. It will say replace the file in the destination. So yes, we want to replace the old one with a new one. So I will click replace the file in the destination. Click continue. And bingo. So now we are almost all done. Now this time if I go back and bring up the RDP config file, click on yes. So it says listener state not listening, but it says fully supported now. Okay, so what we have to do, we just need to make a single restart. And after that, you will find that everything is working absolutely perfect. So let me go ahead and restart it. All right, so the computer has been restarted. And this time, if I bring up the file explorer, go to this PC, sorry, downloads and RDP RAV folder. Again, open the RDP configuration file. So boom, guys, so now you can see the listener state is also green listening and fully supported now and it will be working absolutely perfect without any kind of problem so this time if i bring up the remote desktop connection it will be coming up and now i can connect to any other device without having any kind of problem connecting to any other ip address 
and that's all guys for today hopefully you found this information this method useful if yes make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye